right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Cavas. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Look at the force behind that leg kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you are battering that dude. with that punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice punch there by Lee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And they separate. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice straight punch there by Lee. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Posturing up now. 
And now the damage is about to start. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes with your opponent. Ooh, what a punch. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Round two straight ahead. Well, he certainly added to his highlight reel in that previous round. DC, a lot of effective kicks there to the body. And he did a great job of setting up those kicks. He's not throwing blind body kicks. He's not just throwing the kick. He's throwing it behind jabs. He's throwing it behind punches, making his opponent think high, and then blasting that kick right into his opponent's body. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. That shot blocked by Lee. Lands the right hand. Oh, misses with the jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Just out of range with that right hand. attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. And they separate. Just misses there with the left. Three minutes now to go in round two. And there comes the separation now. There it is, taller fighter landing in need of the body. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice. Nice one, two there. There, there. You see on that punch right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Now goes in and secures the takedown. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on B Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly oh, legs. Ten minutes in the books. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. 
All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this one. Go finish his fight. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Takedown defense holds up. Right hand punch from the clinch. Nice body kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Good jab. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Liver kick, when you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is... Oh. Right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, big left. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges scored this contest 30-27. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, Cayman!